about Orca because what we're doing today is we are making a uh, narwhal. So we're gonna need an Orca because this is the closest thing I could find to a narwhal at the dollar store. So you might, you need a paintbrush, a nice paintbrush, uh, some skizzers, nice skizzers, a canvas piece of paper and baking paper. You need a uh, hot glue gun and paint. So I might be mistaken because I don't know if this is acrylic paint or not. So we're just gonna have to find out. Oh, also you might need some water. Oh, there goes my water. So there we are. Let's get right into this video, I guess. Besides the mouth, we want to keep the mouth uh, not white. But now that it's all, you know, painted, oh, I missed a spot. We want to just right now. We just want to let it dry, so then we can, um, so then we can like, um, you know, continue. So, see you then. up on the horn so basically what I did was I put two I put two strands of hot glue made them even I tried we are going to glue those together in a moment but we're gonna be working on its tail forming its tail and it's a uh, it's a little little nubs here uh luckily the um orca already has it's like um already has a good shaped tail we just need to buff the tail up and it has pretty small fins but i think we can go smaller so we'll see how it goes here with the um the tail I just thickened it up a bit like so it can create that hump uh, that sounded wrong so we can create that um little hump that the narwhal has by its tail so we're just gonna let that dry and the horn won't be done yet depends on how long it takes for you to uh finish this so we're just gonna wait just do stuff be bored, paint your faces, yeah, and that stuff, so, see you then. We're gone, um, waiting for it to dry, I, this had dried, and, um, I had put a small little hole in the top of the, uh, or, of the, uh, narwhal's head, and had, um, we're gonna paint over this, so if it, the paint is peeling, there's like, no problem, just, it's fine. The reason why I'm painting over is because like, I make this as neat as heck, so. Um, no, but yeah, no worries, um, this is like that. So we're just gonna, um, shave the, uh, the narwhal horn. 
mainly the bottom because the bottom is the one that has to be shaved. Okay, so shaving it with the heat of the hot glue gun is obviously not working. So we're gonna cut it. That seems to be working. So then we're just gonna put it on. You'll see me do that in a moment. I had just um, made a mistake and, um, well, the horn doesn't go on the top, it goes on the muzzle. But we're working on the muzzle right here as you saw me do. We're going to be, um, gluing, um, making a, uh, makeshift muzzle. Um, one, because normals don't have teeth, and two, I want to make them look as happy as possible. So, we're gonna have to paint over this again. Don't worry, the hole won't affect it at all. So, yeah, see you. may seem cruel, but this is the only way it will dry. So, just hanging out on a string, okay? So, I'm not being violent towards animals. I'm just trying to dry this thing, so. It's just hanging by a rope, so. I'm just gonna check it. in the picture there is no um there's no fin back fin so we're gonna have to figure out how to get rid of this because I just realized this now so I'm thinking we, we melt it seems to be working gonna try attempting to cut it. I'm gonna need some different scissors so I'll be right there right back okay it's harder but it was actually really easy um sadly there's nothing I can do I you can sandpaper it down but I think this is perfect the way it is so we're gonna be right back finished product and if you're my friends watching this I am very cringy so um I forgot to mention that so um but if like the finished product is almost done so make sure you use acrylic paint because at first the white paint it was not acrylic paint so it didn't stick so that's why you saw it peeling but this paint will do much better um just need to finish the eyes and the fins, and then we're good. Um, so see you when it all, it's all dried. The finished product. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine, but um, when you're weird like me,
Castle. Okay, so, oh my god. So that's the rag I use, but um, as you can see, it's pretty moist, I guess. I can put it on my shelf, but like, so yeah, that's finished product. Hello everyone, and hope you have an amazing, awesome, fun day. And hope to see you next time, and hope, hope you enjoy this video. Please do not, um, I, I say do not, do not like. Do not subscribe because it's cringy. But if you want to, feel free to. So, I don't care. So, uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.